Hello, welcome to Coastal Cuisine. I'm Teeny Shake, and over the next 30 minutes, I'm gonna show you how to perk up your everyday meals with our elegant smoked salmon terrine, our succulent seafood flan, and our gourmet sea bass papillote. Stick around, we'll be right back. Isabella's Italian Seafood and Steaks on Monterey's Historic Old Fisherman's Wharf is the place to enjoy the freshest seafood with a decidedly Italian accent. Savor one of our 25 featured wines by the glass or enjoy a cocktail on our outdoor patio. Isabella's offers a panoramic view of the harbor from every table. For lunch, dinner, or happy hour drinks with friends, you don't want to miss Isabella's on Fisherman's Wharf. Call 831-375-3956. Isabella's, a teeny shake signature restaurant. So glad you could join us. We're just getting ready to start our smoked salmon terrine. And I have one of our terrine pans that I just sprayed with a little bit of cooking oil. Uh, I surrounded it in some uh, clear wrap paper to give it a coating so that when we unmold it, it'll be easy to come out. So we're going to get started. I have one pound of uh, softened cream cheese that has been at room temperature. We're going to put this right into our blender here. And we're going to whip this up for about two minutes. We want to get it nice and fluffy. Let's put that right down. There we go. And that's going to take about two or three minutes. So uh, we'll just listen to the noise. In the meantime, I have a bag and a half, which is about uh, 16 ounces of spinach. And this has already been cleaned three times. Not once, twice, but three times. And all we're going to do to this is just blanch it. We don't want to really cook it till it's uh, super soft, so I just want to blanch it. And I have some water that was already pre-boiled with just a little bit of salt. All right. Well, you're going to love this particular smoked salmon terrine because it is elegant. It has cream cheese in it. It has uh, the spinach in it. And we'll talk a little bit about smoked salmon in just a moment here. Well, this is just about ready. So I want to transport this over to the sink. And we're going to pour this right into the colander. There we go. And it's very important in this particular step, what we're going to do is actually put it in an ice bath and that's going to shock the spinach. It's going to stop it from cooking and it's going to give it a, uh, uh, keep that nice green color. So let's just put that right in. Just like that. And we'll just, I have some ice cubes and I have a bowl with some water and we're just going to let that set. Now, once that uh, cools down a little bit, we're going to actually take and lay it out on a flat sheet with some, uh, I have some paper towels here and I want you to see what I did. I just laid it out and we want to dry it so that the liquid doesn't fall all over the place and uh, kind of mess up the, the liquid in the cream cheese. So, all right. Now, let's get started here. Let's see how our uh, whipped cream cheese is looking good over there. And I'm going to pick that up just a, just a bit over here. You're going to love this uh, uh, today's show on it because I have some really great recipes that are elegant. And once you know the techniques, it's going to be easy for you to make. Okay, this looks like this is ready to go. Let's take and pull this up. All right, shake that off. And I want to pull this bowl right over. Okay, grab a spatula. Now, this is probably the most time consuming step. We want to take our smoked salmon, and this here actually is a uh, cold smoke lox salmon. And lox uh, is actually the Yiddish for uh, salmon. And as you can see, what we're doing is just layering the bottom of the terrine with the smoked salmon. And there's really two types of smoked salmon. There's a cold smoke and there's a hot smoke. And the uh, hot smoked salmon is generally the uh, chunks of salmon that you see that uh, usually cook at about 150 degree temperature uh, for about six to eight hours. And they're fully cooked. This here, the cold smoked salmon, or lox actually, uh, cooks at 90 degrees. And sometimes it takes one to five days to actually cold smoke this type of salmon. It, the brining process is generally a um, uh, water, uh, salt, seasoning, and sometimes I'll add sugar to it as well. So this is a very thin slice and all we're doing is just coating this terrine, the entire bottom, and I'm just putting it on the sides as you can see, we're covering all those spaces. And again, that um, saran wrap, that clear wrap is gonna 
keep it so that we can unmold it and so it won't stick to the sides. Okay, you can see this has been uh, completely coated all the way around and now what we're going to do is add a layer of our cream cheese. Now, take your time on this here. We want to just spread it on the bottom. This takes a little bit just to get that first level. And we're going to take and layer it with spinach and we're going to actually do three uh, layers on this particular dish. Okay, that's looking really nice there, looking good. That beautiful red color from that salmon. Now, we have some of the spinach that has been cooked. It has been blanched uh, and then shocked in ice cold water to stop that process. And then we just laid it out with some, uh, right on this cooking sheet here with paper towels and that kind of absorbs the liquid and dries it up a little bit. And we're just going to take and cover this. All right, that looks great. Okay, and we're going to repeat this process again, so uh, stick with me here. Uh, this salmon particularly came from Oregon, and we, uh, of course, have lots of salmon on the West Coast here, especially up in the uh, Oregon, Washington area. Uh, Chinook or king salmon is outstanding. And matter of fact, uh, the largest recorded uh, sport fishing salmon was 126 pounds, and that was caught in 1949. That's something. Okay, and we're going to layer one more piece here. All right, looking good. And we're going to add our cream cheese. And again, just repeat the process. But once you do your prep work, it really doesn't take that much time. Now, what does take a little bit of time is you actually are going to put this in the refrigerator overnight because generally it needs about 24 hours uh, to harden. And I have uh, actually pre-made one that is sitting in the refrigerator that we're going to pull out in just a moment. Okay, that's our second layer here, just about done. And we're going to put our spinach on. Okay, back to the spinach. All right. And this particular dish, I like it because, um, you know, I love bagels, smoked salmon, and cream cheese. So this is always uh, one of my favorite terrines because it in incorporates some of my favorite uh, items.